Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video, I'm going to go over the next in our series on building a website. And I'm going to show you how to download, install, and activate a free WordPress theme on the uh, WordPress website we've been building. Now for those of you who have your own WordPress installation, of course these steps will work as well. And if you have not done any of that, you can go into the previous videos. There will be links in the video description. So go ahead and check that out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to activate my XAMPP server like we had before. And this is what's hosting our website. Okay, and so since I've activated that, remember I went to XAMPP and then I clicked start next to Apache, your web server, and MySQL, your database server. I'm going to open up my browser and up here I'm going to go to localhost and go to the website I created which was slash artistic creations. After the website is loaded, I need to access the administrative dashboard. And what I didn't tell you guys in a previous video is if you got rid of your login access down here in the right-hand corner, all you have to do is add to the end of your URL up here in the left-hand corner, wp-admin, and then press enter. And that'll actually bring you back to your dashboard. Now I've taken the liberty of installing my themes already. So let me go ahead and go down here to appearance, and I'm going to select themes. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this. As you can see, I've installed a, quite a few of them. And this is probably what you want to do. Your best bet is to actually download a whole bunch of them, install them, and then you can actually start previewing them one by one and activating them and take a look at what you like the most. So let's go ahead and get started on finding them. First, you want to select a new tab on your browser and go to www.google.com. Now, there's millions of free WordPress themes out there. I might be exaggerating, but I'm probably not. If you're trying to build a band website, type free band WordPress themes and press enter. And check this out, the first result is six free WordPress themes for musicians. So let's say you're an artist. So I'm gonna type in free artist WordPress themes and there's 24 free ones and 100 premium free ones in the first two descriptions and 45 in the third, look at that, there's tons of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the second link, why not? We'll just give this one a shot. I'm going to scroll down to find the very first theme I can find. And it looks like Touch River Free WordPress theme is the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And typically on the page, you can scroll down and click download. And then you're going to actually choose where to download. I'll download this one to my uh, desktop so we can kind of do this a lot easier. And then I've officially downloaded it. Now there's two different ways you can actually upload and activate a theme. I'll show you the simplest way first. All right, so go back to your theme page here, and on the left-hand side under appearance, you want to select themes again, and then up at the top, you're going to want to select install themes. At this point, you can then select upload, and then select choose file, and then right here, as you can see, touchriver.zip is my downloaded theme. I can just select OK or open and click install now. And after you've installed it, you can just select themes on the left-hand side, and you'll scroll down until you see the theme that you've installed. i got a bunch of them on here, so I might have to go to the next page here. Let's see here, QRST Touch River. There it is. See? As you can see, it shows up right there. Now, the second way you can do it, and this is what I recommend, download a ton of them. Download, like, I don't know, 20 themes that you think are interesting. Then go to your root directory of your WordPress installation like I've talked about in the previous video. Go to My Computer, then the C Drive, then to XAMPP, and then to HTDocs, and then go to your website folder, which mine was Artistic Creations, WP Content, and then Themes. And as you can see, i got a whole bunch of theme folders in here. The great way to install this is then you can just open up your file that you downloaded, and then just drag it over to your Themes folder. And, of course, I'm going to replace it because I already installed it, just like yes. I'm going to replace them all. And so, I've officially installed my theme in the second way. Now, this is a great way to install a whole bunch of different ones. That way you don't have to go through that theme install for all of them. Now, after you've actually installed your themes and you've come back to this page, you might need to right-click and select Reload so that you can see all the themes you've installed then you can actually start previewing these themes on your website just by selecting the preview button below whatever theme you're looking at. And as you can see, it'll kind of give you a layout of what the website will look like in your particular themes preview. 
So what I want you to do after this video is go through every single theme that you've installed, find one that really fits your business model and what you really like to do the most. And uh, after you've decided on one, we're going to go ahead and move forward with this series and try to come up with different ways of actually uh, <clears throat> doing more customizations and working with widgets and things like that. So that's all there is to this video. Thanks for coming by. And uh, don't forget to leave comments and ratings and stay tuned. There's more WordPress theme themed videos to come.